Products.com will release this uh, how-to video how to install our CIS auto refill ink system on HP printers that use the 902 cartridges. Now this happens to be a 6978 Office Jet Pro. It's brand new. I just took it out of the box and then I put the HP cartridges in it that came with it. That's mandatory. If you don't do that, the printer will never operate properly. So I got the HP cartridges in there. I ran a few copies. That's all I have to do. That one here. I did my alignment. I've got everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install that new black tower auto refill system. Very simple. Only comes with very basic parts. Hose clip, main hose bracket, the system with the new COC smart chips, the intelligent chips, so it'll work. Now, when you take the HP cartridges out, you're going to save them, and you're going to put them back in the yellow, I'm sorry, the orange clips here. So if you ever need that, you put them back in, you can put them back in should you have a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over. Now, the black can be all different sizes because on the auto refill system, sometimes we use a standard, sometimes we use a big one. It doesn't matter. All of our cartridges have the new double XL chips. And when the level goes down, it's not going to show you an ink level, and then you just keep printing. All you have to do is keep adding ink to the bottles. And you have a visual here, you can watch your ink. Uh, 6954 that we've been testing so we got a, just about every one of the models for that I'll open this up no I better not open up yet I want to um, look at the inks see there's the different inks now my yellow is almost gone when it gets to the very end you'll get a question mark and just continue to print don't take the cartridges out don't do anything what we want is to, for it to go all the way to the bottom, show you nothing. Then there won't be any error codes, and it'll be really good. Now I'll take you over to another one, which we have about 10,000 copies on. I was talking about, this has a lot of copies on it. Now you can see the exclamations, but just, just let it go like that and just keep printing. And of course... It worked so well we had to put this check ink levels weekly because they run it out of ink. And by the way, if you ran the bottles out of ink, we'd show you how to prime them back up again. So no harm done. Center, I'm going to unplug the printer because I want to be able to move everything by hand to get hose travel and everything. It's fairly straight. You're going to put the main hose bracket basically here. And I'll, I'll point it out. Here's the black, so it's between the black and the cyan, and that's it. This way you can take those cartridges in or out, but you want to save the HPs, because should anything happen, you can put them in and continue to print. All these little paper clips, because what you're going to do, you're going to fold that hose and put that big paper clip on there. The reason is, as you're installing the cartridges, you don't want any extra ink dribbling out the bottom, especially when you take off the orange clips, and then we'll be putting it right in. So get yourself one of these paper clips before you start. You want to lift the front off just from here, see? Then you'll be able to peel it back off and slide it off. Now you can see some ink there, so you want to have a piece of paper towel and blot that. Yeah, that's very important you do that one at a time. Just blot it. Or put them in, slide them in there, and then you're going to click them down in there. Now, when you first start up, you might have some ink on the sheet because it depends on how long you take to do this. You know, the first time you kind of struggle, like you can't get it in, you don't know, and then it'll go right in, locks right in. Then it's going to come off like that, and we're going to peel and stick the bracket on just like this between the cyan and the black just like that 
peel and stick it. All right. And you want to make sure you do it like that because that you want that on the top. Then you have a little clip that will go in over here. Cut down. I've got the little clip in here. Now we're going to do hose travel. So I'm going to push it all the way over, as far as it could go. And see that big buckle? We can't have that. You got to take that that buckle out. It's got to be like this, straight right on down. See that? And by the way, you'll be able to close the lid. It won't interfere with closing it. And then we're going to bring it out this side, and we're going to put the other hose clip, the little black one, it's going to go right on the side. Now, before we take the clip off or whatever, because this has been out, it's been traveling, you can see, see the level of ink has dropped. That means that when you first get it, like the instruction says, you got to go like this. And what we're doing now is we're balancing the isobaric chamber. And see, you see the ink level comes right back up. Okay? If you pull out both of these plugs at the same time, the ink from here is going to flood the back isobaric chamber. That's why we tell you when you're fill, filling them, you put in the little plug and open the big plug. Same thing when you prime. Now you can pour the ink right in, whatever way you want to do it. Very simple. And then, of course, this is going to go right next to the printer, like that. And now I'll be able to take off this clip. And then you just straighten out the hose. Now it's got a double loop hose bracket. So you see it comes out the bottom, goes up, loops around, and goes up. That's an exclusive from Ink Products. Okay, so we got hose travel that way. Now we go all the way back to the right. No problem. Good. Now let me get that other hose clip on the outside and I can fix the hose coming out. Cut out here. So I bring the hose right out there. I got my other hose bracket. I just peel and I can stick it right there. See? Then it comes right on up and out. Now if I left the lid open it's not going to work because there's a little interlock thing here. So I know I have my hose travel. I balanced my bottles. Now what I'm going to do is reach over and open up the little air plugs to the isobaric chamber. Now if you don't want to get any ink on your hands, wear a pair of rubber gloves. Okay, now I can close it up and turn it on. Because I did my hose travel, everything's looking good. Now I'm expecting to see ink all over the sheet. That's normal. You're just going to run, you know, five or ten cleanup copies. Don't do anything else. Don't take it out. Don't do anything. The orange clips on the HP cartridges. I only ran like one or two copies. I'm saving those. Now it's, um, it's going into printer maintenance. That's normal. And then initially, now you'll get an error code telling you it's not genuine HP. That's normal because you have to say that because otherwise they HP could sue saying that we're claiming it's HP and it's not. So this will take a few minutes. Print five in a row. Okay, now it's stopped. So now let's just make a copy. Okay, now. Okay, now here it comes. Now I expect to see some ink, maybe some little dribbles of ink, but nope. So I installed it without spending too much time. Everything is perfect. Like I said, I didn't change any settings, I didn't do anything. And you don't have to buy a new printer, you can use a, your older printer that has the 902s. We build it for all of them. But this will save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We've tested this printer with our system and our ink in our lab for two or three months, different 902 printers. Because we own pretty much all of them. So this is one of the ones we recommend that we give a five star to.
it does everything. It'll print from the iPhone, it'll print from the cloud, it does it all. Got a little dock feeder up here. You put your originals in, it'll take them in, print them out. Just awesome. So go to inkproducts.com and get this unit because now you don't have to worry about taking cartridges out. You don't have to worry about refilling cartridges. Although, we do make a refill kit for these. So people say, well, I don't want the hose and I don't want to let... It's fine. Get the refill kit. You can still keep printing. But this is the latest Black Tower ink tank system. And we have the latest COC intelligent chip in there. Works perfect. Very stable.